Hello YouTube, this is Dan from RetroTowers.co.uk. In this video I'll be replacing the thumbstick from the N64 controller and I'll be replacing it with a GameCube style thumbstick which in my opinion is a lot better than the standard N64 version. To do this you'll need an N64 controller, a standard Phillips head crosswing screwdriver and a replacement thumbstick for the N64 controller. All of the parts seen in this video except for the N64 controller can be bought from RetroTowers.co.uk. Someday we hope to sell controllers as well, but unfortunately at the moment, we don't have any. Before doing anything, you'll need to remove the 8 screws from the back of the N64 controller. Please note there are also two smalls in the memory pack section. These are hard to see because they're so small. Make sure these are removed before removing the back of the controller. Also, please note the GameCube style thumbsticks won't work very well with some games because Nintendo unfortunately made some of their games to only work with the N64 controllers. This is why when playing on Virtual Console on the Wii, when using your GameCube controller on some games it doesn't work too well. After removing the back of the N64 controller you'll see the old thumbstick. You'll need to remove the three screws surrounding the thumbstick. Remove the Z button from the thumbstick. Now you'll need to remove the connector from the circuit board. To do this you just need to pull the top of the connector off and leave the rest of the blue part behind. Here you can see the difference in appearance of the official N64 thumbstick and the GameCube styled one. When putting the thumbstick back I would recommend connecting it to the PCB board first but it doesn't matter if you do it in the same order as me or not though. Now just screw the three screws back into the thumbstick and put the Z button in its place. If any buttons fell off then place them back, for me the L button fell off. Now all you need to do is place the 8 screws back into the controller and then you have finished and replaced the joystick successfully. The two small screws don't need to go back in order for the controller to feel connected, but if you want to do it you can still do it. Thanks for watching this video, if you liked it please hit the like button and favourite button. Also, if you need to buy a thumbstick or screwdriver, you can get one from RetroTowers.co.uk. There's a link in the description, or you can just type the URL into your URL bar. If you like other videos on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be updated on new products that are going to be coming into stock and out of stock, please like our Facebook page. The link will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in a future video.